All right, so here we go. Beginning our live gatherings on the Lion's Gate, which is my favorite um, holiday of the year, we could say. It's my favorite, favorite portal or um, high holiday, we'll call it. Um, and in ancient Egypt, this was the mark of the new year. Hi, Nora. Um, and very much, um, to me, very much today, feeling the energy of the Syrian lions, of the star system uh, Lyra, L-Y-R-A, if you want to Google that, that's fun. Um, so feeling a lot of that energy. And today, this first broadcast, we'll be doing these every week. I'll be, we, it's funny when people say we, and it's really just, just me here in my bedroom <laughs> with a napping baby in the other room. Um, so today, what I really wanted to start, um, oh, Donna can't hear in the Facebook group. Um, Nora, it looks like you're there. Could you tell me, Nora, in the Facebook group, can you hear me? That would be really helpful. I hope I'm not, um, uh, technology is fun. So I'm streaming this both in my Facebook group and on Instagram. So it's fun keeping track of all of these. <laughs> little cameras and comments um okay good okay so some people are hearing me donna maybe restart i'm not sure refresh so good to hear oh so good to see you guys hi victoria good to see you again um okay so yes today our first um first gathering of of a regular weekly gathering um dependent on nap time on how regular this is gonna be hello hello Thank you guys for joining. Um, today, on the Lion's Gate, the, the topic that is really on my heart, and especially this being the first broadcast that we're doing, is that I would love to, hello my Instagram friends, hello. I'm gonna talk about the uh, definition of a modern priestess. <laughs> and uh, this can be a little bit I've found it can be not for everybody but for some people this is a little bit of a triggering word this word priestess it's a little bit edgy and it and it um, can uh, sometimes you know it just hasn't um, always resonated with with everyone right when they hear it uh, it's one that I have really uh, thought a lot about I've meditated a lot on in the last year and what I have come to find is that it's absolutely a word worthy of resurrecting and um, and a big part of my, uh, not a big part, really the embodiment is the big part. The label doesn't matter so much. So let's talk about this. What does this mean? And um, what I think this means for me is uh, we can talk about the characteristics or the definition itself is actually quite broad. It's it's very, very, very broad. Um, but the essence of this word is, um, is specific to me. The essence of it is actually quite specific. And, um, and almost comes with a, a hero's journey of, um, of embodiment and reclaiming and embodying and stepping into. It's uh, certainly a process. So I wanted to, um, yeah, Victoria says embodiment. Yes, it's all about the embodiment. That's all that. That's all that there is to talk about. Really, is just the embodiment, and the embodiment comes from the first step in this being typically, um, you know, an awakening journey, right? Uh, going through uh, this awakening uh, process. And on days like today in the Lion's Gate, even if you just laid in bed all day, the upgrades that are happening and the light codes that are, are coming through, that's perfectly great. There's um, a lot of a lot of energy moving today, especially with yesterday being the full moon and lunar eclipse. What a week. I love it. So, um, so the characteristics and definition are broad. The essence of this woman, though, is... To me, she has a, there's a similar thread and a similar um, story. So, um, really, she's, she's, a, she's an awake woman, 
And she had, and by awake woman, I mean that she has come to terms with in her deepest meditations, that she has realized that um, she is God, that you are God, that God is God. She's been able to touch um, some of that light or at least visit that seventh plane of existence where there's this um, instantaneous healing, instantaneous knowing, that white light, the plane of white light is how I've experienced it. And it's very much associated like the symbology of the, the doves, right? When you kind of have those awakening um, or even kundalini experiences that are that are really intense. And um, for some people, this happens, you know, maybe in a ceremony all at once or for others, it's more of a journey of, of layers on layers on layers. And um, really, it comes down to just knowing that you are the creator of Hi, everybody on Instagram showing up. So much fun. Um, that you are the, um, the, the, tr the sovereign creator of your existence. So that's the first step. When we're talking about priestesshood, um, this is the, the foundational step. It's a kind of a solo journey. Nobody else can do it for you. Not kind of a solo journey. It is the solo journey. Um, nobody else will be able to do it for you. And um, really coming to terms with what does that mean to you? What does it mean to be God here on the planet? And so, um, so this is, um, I made some notes about this last night, so I'm just taking a look at that. When we um, also, so this is also a portal, this Lionsgate portal, uh, certainly very much, um, if you connect with Isis and Hathor, the Ascended Masters, Isis, the goddess Isis, and the Ascended Master Hathor and the Hathor Star Nations, it's a very powerful time to, um, to connect to them. There's also a portal right now that is still open um, for Mary Magdalene. And one of the symbols of Mary Magdalene that I, that I love is a, um, an anchor. And you can Google this and actually see the exact image that I'm talking about, but it's an anchor and I think it's within a heart and they're kind of fused together. And it's one of my favorite symbols because it's really about when we have that experience and that connection and then we get so excited to share it, right? We want to anchor it here within our bodies and our experience first. So this is, for me, um, this is the essence that I'm talking about. It's having that awakening and having all of these, you know, reali realizing how free we are, realizing how sovereign we are and then the embodiment of that and that i always i feel that like a, a tug down right right down into your into your root and even beyond like anchoring it down into the earth so um so once that is established and there's a lot of different ways that that looks for people so we're not even into the priestesshood part yet we're just talking about um really a personal uh awakening journey is really just what I'm overviewing and all of our stories are different and they're beautiful to hear um, we come into this remembering all in our our own ways and our own timings and it's gorgeous so that is a first step foundational step then we can talk about priestesshood then we can talk about the um, where, where it can start to, to be really fun and where you can start to accelerate your journey by stepping into the role of, um, not the role, but yeah, this title, this self-initiated title of priestess. And that is when we, since we already know that everything that we will ever need is within ourselves, within our sacred heart and within our divine connection to source or higher self, Sophia God, whatever you feel um, comfortable with. Yes, this video will be available later. Love is light. Thank you for asking. You can watch it 24 hours on Instagram or you can join my Facebook group and the replay will be up for a long time. Um, so, uh, so that... After that first, um, knowing you are uh, 
God is established first, then we start to realize that how much opportunity there is to play with all of these earthly elements and how much opportunity there is to work within the balanced ecosystems of Mother Earth. Uh, so this starts to, it starts to get fun to, you know, you can start to explore where is your personal blueprint of service and um, here on this planet. What is it that that you are here to create that's new and use the, the resources and tools that are available. And so that is when we can start talking about how to step into being a modern priestess. For all of us, it looks new and it looks different and it feels vulnerable um, because we're, we're really anchoring in some new, some new paradigms. So, um, and this is something that I've heard come up quite a bit and almost almost weekly at this point is just like, you know, how do you deal with the vulnerability that you then need to step into to anchor and hold this much light, um, especially in a modern society, in a modern world? It's incredibly vulnerable. It can feel very scary, but the more that you just bow to your own heart and you continue to shine from that place of knowing, from that place of knowing that you are a creator, um, creator goddess, creator God, you, um, you stay true to that first and then the expression and the, the art that can come from you through, and this can happen in so many different ways. So, um, so when I talk about uh, priestesshood, there's there's so many you know different titles that we can um, explore. But this one for me, it's so much about service and and service through embodiment, service through embodiment. So when I embody my priestesshood, it gives permission to the modern world to also embody that same that the frequency of that seventh plane that is being anchored here on the earth it's a lot of permission giving through your embodiment through the way you're living your day-to-day -day life it's very much what priestesshood is now there's also the the service and the ceremonies and the ways that we can express this you know love in our writing um and poetry and art channeling artwork uh, light languages, all of these beautiful things, sound therapy, cacao ceremonies, um, all of these beautiful things. Crystal, I mean, it goes on and on. You guys know what I'm saying. So there's a lot of ways to use those tools, use um, anointing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be doing a lot with anointing and perfumes um, and adornment coming up. That's absolutely part of my key code and my love for for being here is the the art of anointing and blessing one another with with beautiful gifts and beautiful um, jewelry or um, whatever it may be hair ceremonies I love all of it so that's you know for me specifically a way that I love to express um, my connection and so um, there's. So this is going to differ for all of you, and it should, and it should. Some of us might kind of resonate more with, you know, the, the Order of Magdalena or uh, working with nature spirits, working with um, the elements, working with the, uh, the rocks and the gems and all of those spirits. So there's so many different paths to take. But when it all comes down to it's really all rooted um, from the same place, from the same place of service and the same place of love and light and so that is very much um you know there's the the term modern priestess both of those words hold equal weight okay so this was something that i was talking to uh last night um in an interview that i'm doing i think it'll be out in october so you might hear this again in october but i think it's really an important um, thing to share that if you're watching this, if you're interested in what it is that that I have to say, these two things are very important to me. The word modern and the word priestess, they are fusing together 
um, you know, that we can't get too caught up on these past lives and the rememberings that we're having and, and um, the way that things have been done before. Uh, we certainly keep a place for honoring that, absolutely. I've got so many books about ancient Egypt that I can't even, t I mean, I got all of them. So <laughs> I, I love looking through that lens, but the lens is helping me see what is ahead. It's not, it's not about focusing on the way that things were before or, or all of that, but we can use it as a lens to see, to see the current now, to see what needs to be brought through us now, because it is new. It is new. And so, um, so the remembering, the priestess remembering that's happening for so many right now, it's incredible. It's incredible. And I'm so grateful um, because it's so much more fun to do this in a conversation and in a community, isn't it? So I'm so grateful for that. Um, we also just need to stay equally is focused on this modern part on the on the on what's what's really going on what's really relevant right so um i'm gonna take a minute because i haven't checked in the facebook group if there are many comments doesn't i'm not seeing them but i'm also using a new soft, software but i think i'm seeing your comments but i don't think there's any new ones so i think that i think we're good in there too um what else modern pre if you guys have any questions about this um, mod about being a modern priestess. I would love to hear what your questions are. Um, another thing with weaving this ancient uh, priestesshood remembering with with being this modern woman um, and living a modern life for me has been very much about uh, knowing that that it's taking both infusing it into one. For a long time, I was seeing a trend online um, with the, like, f a trend online geared towards marketing towards, you know, if you're running an online business, here's what you need to know. And the here's what you need to know was very much about, you know, uh, you put your, your mom hat on and then you put your um, entrepreneur hat on and you're like, kind of like doing all of these things and and compartmentalizing all of these different roles that we had that we have in our life and like how to do all of those different roles um and this is a little bit subtle so stick with me but what I'm starting to um I just disagree I completely disagree and I think what it's more about what it's much more about, I've thought a lot about this this year, is that there's no hat. There's just who you are and it fuses into everything. So my priestesshood fuses into my friendships, into my mother, my mothering, how I mother, how I show up for my partner. It's all very much a practice in my connection to source. All of it is. So that's where I have, I've decided to meet myself and allow myself to, you know, there's no more hat wearing. It's actually just, I am this one complete, you know, I am always all of those things. I am always everything. And it's kind of put the, it's just, there's been a shift for me to where I don't feel like I have to be this role and then go into this thing that's done. I'm not, that's for me, that's an old paradigm way of thinking that was keeping me very tired and um, very much feeling like I was never caught up because I, I wasn't spending enough time in this role or I wasn't doing, you know, what, or I wasn't showing up as a friend enough. That is all to me that's done. So, um, and I'm seeing some people in, in Instagram are agreeing. So yay. Um, yes, it's all a, a very much a one complete embodiment all of the time. And I don't have to, to switch gears as much. It's too exhausting. Um, so, so this, this modern priestess is the thing 
that I can focus on embodiment and coming back to and it's always about bowing to my own heart and my own connection first and making sure that that's that is true and that it's aligned and then everything else can fall into place no matter what role I need to be playing so if it's entrepreneur whatever it is um so that is another aspect of this where it's um kind of you know it takes the pressure off a little bit um takes the pressure off I've found so um let's see Heather says I'm going to read this from, this is from Instagram. So the time is so much for us to embody this full-time priestess. I agree. Oh, you meant to say the time is to be receptive for us to be a full-time priestess. I agree. It's, um, I think it's really, you know, the lion's gate. I'm so glad you brought that up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the lion's gate, I think why I like it so much and why it resonates with me so much is that if I had to boil it down to, you know, what is the lion's gate? What does it do for me personally? It asks me to step into my potential um, radically, radically st take a look at it and, and step into it. And that's where a lot of the, the new year energy or um, kind of that back to school buzz that starts to happen it's really i think it kicks off with this portal it it kicks off with like looking ahead and starting to plan and you want to buy like a new packet of dry erase markers and just like start to go crazy and planning out all of your dreams and how you're going to make it happen because this portal is so much about look at your potential and how are you going to how are you going to anchor that how are you going to start to plan for it make sure you feel very supported supported enough to follow through on all of those plans and all of these dreams and all of the activations that are happening now so yes i'm glad that i'm glad that you brought that up because i i believe if there is um you know one one word kind of that i've been really feeling strongly this week is that potential um and it's fun to lean into our our dreams and our potential and our creativity in that way and start to think about um to really think about it so um what else what else what else let's see we're at about 25 minutes here so i might actually start to wrap it up because i don't I don't like for these to go too too long especially for people watching replays that they don't just go on forever and ever so I think we might actually leave it there today if you guys have any questions go ahead and pop them in now before I log off so that I can address them but um it's um it's been really fun for this first gathering I'm going to try to keep these about 30 minutes um especially because I've got a little one who's napping right now so each week we'll try to keep these about 20 30 minutes uh, deliver some some good inspiration if you're watching on Instagram you can um, you can view it 24 hours here but please join us in the Facebook group and get to know some of the women who are gathering you can find that in my profile um, so wonderful to touch the energy of all of you you're so welcome and um, yeah you'll see me you'll see me around please feel free to send me a message and introduce yourself it's kind of hard to keep track of some of the comments that are coming through in case I missed anything tell me what you're up to in your priestesshood I would love to connect with you so have a wonderful lion's gate make sure you're resting a lot and and honoring yourself in whatever way feels best for you and I will see you next week <laughs>